Hello, this is a video for Lithgow Library patrons hoping to create an account on Beanstack to help track their summer reading. Once you're on the library's Beanstack landing page, scroll down until you see the Imagine Your Story banner and some text that reads register for our summer reading program. There should be a button that reads register an individual or family. Before starting this process, it is important to know that each family only needs to create one account. Once you've created an account, you can add multiple readers and track each individual's progress under the same username. If you share a phone number or email address with another person, you will need to create and share account with them as Beansect does not allow duplicate phone numbers to exist. If you have trouble creating an account because it says your phone number or email address is already in use, please contact the library and we can assist you. We are now ready to start the registration process. So go ahead and click the register an individual or family button. To ensure that you don't already have an existing account, Beanstack will ask you if you've previously participated in a reading challenge on the site before. Lithgow Library has never used Beanstack in the past. So unless you've recently made an account and forgotten your password, the answer should be no. If you have made an account and you cannot get in, please contact the library. Do not create another account. You will then be asked who you would like to register. If you would like to participate in the challenges as a reader yourself, choose I am registering myself. You will be allowed to add more readers to your account after collecting your information. If you are only creating an account so that you may register a child, choose I am an adult registering a child. You may also use this option if you are registering another adult who may not be able to do so themselves and track their own reading. Regardless of whether you decide to participate in a challenge as a reader, Beanstack is going to collect your name and contact information while setting you up with a username and password for the site. There isn't a big difference between the two options, and for this video, we are going to click I am registering myself. Beanstack will now collect some of your information. Any field with a red asterisk is going to be required. So the first thing they want is your first and last name. Then you will be asked to create a username. Pick something that you will remember and write it down. You may then choose to supply your email address. If you enter your email address, you have the option of receiving book recommendations from Beanstack. It is also a way for librarians to search for you within their system and to contact you if you won a prize. However, it is not required. If you enter an email address, you will want to confirm it in the next field to ensure that it is entered correctly. If you do not want to include your email address, librarians can also search for your account or contact you concerning prizes by phone. Enter a 10-digit phone number with no dashes. We encourage users to include a phone number or an email address. Children under the age of 12 will receive prizes for completing the summer reading challenge, and we will be unable to contact you if we do not have any contact information. You will then be asked to create a password for your account. Use something you will remember and know that the only requirement is that it is no longer than six characters. However, we do not recommend that you use your username as your password or any personal or identifying information. Beanstack will ask how old you are in order to decide which challenges are appropriate for you. It will then ask, what is your gender? This is not a required field. There are multiple options and you can prefer not to respond. Finally, it would ask, if you would like to receive book recommendations. 
If you have not supplied your email address, you will not receive book recommendations. These come once a week and are generated by Beanstack according to books that you log as you complete the summer reading challenge. If you'd like to opt in, you can click the button that says, yes, send me a recommendation via email. You can click next to proceed. Now Beansack will ask which challenges you would like to participate in. You can register for our traditional summer reading challenge or the new summer activities challenge. If you sign up before June 8th, the button will say pre-register and you will not be able to log any minutes or completed activities before this start date. If it is after June 8th, these buttons should, should say register. When you click pre-register, it will then ask for the school you attend. There are two not applicable options. You can be an adult or a baby and toddler or child who is not school age ready. There is also an option for homeschool and other, as well as all Augusta schools, public and private. Choose the one that fits best. When you've registered for your first challenge, you are rewarded a registration badge. You will collect badges for completing different activities and reaching certain milestones within Beanstack. When I register for the Summer Activities Challenge, you will then receive another badge. So this one is for the Summer Reading Challenge. And when I go to pre-register for the Summer Activities Challenge, I receive another badge. Press next to proceed, and you will be asked if you would like to add another adult. Press yes or no. We are not going to add another adult at this time. You will then be asked if you would like to add a child. Press yes. Beansack is going to ask for some more information on that reader to identify them and decide which challenges best fit them based on age. All required fields have a red asterisk next to them. And then you can decide if you would like recommendations for that reader to be sent as well. Again, if you have not supplied an email address, you cannot receive weekly recommendations. You can choose which challenges to enroll that reader in, and a badge will be unlocked for each challenge you register for. When you're done choosing which challenges they would like to participate in, press next. You can continue to add readers until you've added each member of your family and chosen a challenge for them to participate in. When you finally have no more readers to add, you can press no, and then continue, and Beanstack will take you to your account page. If you go over here, you can see yourself and the readers that you've added. You can also add more re readers on this page. We will go over how to use this account page in another video. Please stay tuned, and if you have any questions, please call us at 207-626-2415.